Is this possibly the best beach in the whole of Queensland? We are about to explore the only place on earth where two World Heritage Wonders coexist, the Daintree Rainforest and the Great Barrier Reef. In our upcoming vlogs, we will explore ancient rainforests, the Great Barrier Reef and be on the lookout for resident crocodiles. We have just seen a crocodile in the wild and he was four meters long. We're James and Alex, we travel around the world, ticking places off our bucket list and sharing with you our experiences in each location. We have made it to paradise. We are currently road tripping around Australia, exploring everything there is to see and do across this beautiful country. Last week, we shared with you our time exploring the incredible Fitzroy Island. Now we are leaving Cairns and starting our road trip up to Cape Tribulation and the Daintree. We do plan to make a couple stops on the way up with the first one being at Ellis Beach. This possibly is the best camp spot in Australia, at least on the East Coast. We found this place just by chance on Ellis Beach and we're so glad that we decided to stay. So it's $36 for an unpowered site, which is not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive considering it is the East Coast. But what you get on your doorstep when you wake up is just nothing short of spectacular. We've just rocked out of bed. It's about half past six in the morning. We're taking a nice little walk on the beach and it's just absolutely beautiful. Lost for words, really. Don't forget to wipe your feet. I'm wiping my feet. What are you going to do when we have kids? Our children will constantly wear Wellington boots when they're on the beach and then when they return from the beach to come home, I shall have them remove them. <laughs> home sweet home. Yes. Let's make a coffee. Oh yes, let's put some lad on. Naya's looking pretty tidy. She is looking tidy. I was just about to say, it's a rarity when she does look this good. This is what she's meant to look like all the time. My new love of my life. Well, this is rather, rather nice. To give you an idea of how much we actually loved Ellis Beach Campground, we booked for one night. We ended up staying for eight. Needless to say, it was very hard to make the decision to leave today. However, we've got some beautiful spots lined up on our way up to Cape Trib and we cannot wait to show you more. So first we've got to cross a river which is most likely crop infested. <laughs> <laughs> 100% crop infested. Apparently it's a really tiny crossing. Don't fall in, we don't want to get eaten by a <laughs> crop. It's $30 each way so not too bad. We made it. And our plan will be to explore some of the Daintree rainforest. And what is pretty cool about the Daintree is that it is one of the oldest rainforests in the world. 150 million years old, to be exact. So we're pretty excited to go and explore some of the area. It's also like 35 degrees and we have no aircon. So we'll see how we fare in these conditions for your entertainment. <laughs> I'm just going to sit like this to mop up the sweat. Oh, so nice. Just need some breeze now. <laughs> Aircon is so overrated. Woohoo! We have made it into the Daintree and it is glorious! So we have made it to our first stop in the Daintree and that is none other than Cow Bay. Alright, should we go and check out Cow Bay? I have opted for no t-shirt today because it was so hot earlier. Oh, it's so hot now. And of course, more crocodiles. Attacks may cause injury or death. I mean, so there's definitely a chance we are not going to go into the water. I mean, there's a 100% chance we are not going in the water. And marine stingers are present in these waters during the summer months. Lovely. You know, the only frustrating thing is though, the sea just looks so inviting and blue and cooling and just incredible, but we can't even go for a swim. However, we will just have to enjoy it from above. Can 
ground. We made it. We made it. Got our tag to put on our windscreen. And what site number are we? I believe we are number 10. And so welcome to Noah's campground. This is where we will be staying for just one night. Oh, and it seems like James is already on the biz. It's so hot, trust me, it's well deserved. Dinner is served. We have our wonderful fish finger sandwich with some lovely pickled gherkins, with some lovely spinach and some mayonnaise. We're having an early dinner slash late lunch and then we'll probably Pig out on some sweets and crisps later. Mmm, yum. What better way to walk off the fish finger sandwich than heading to the beach? So we just found the entry point. And every time we go to a new beach in Australia, it never ceases to amaze us. Like, <laughs> again, lost for words. Sand is probably as white as you're gonna get. And the blue is just so blue. And that view is just insane. Happy Alex with her seltzer. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be perfect without a palm tree. That is like the perfect palm tree. Right. <laughs> oh, that face you just pulled was perfect. <laughs> This possibly the best beach in the whole of Queensland. So after our first full day here in the Jane Tree Rainforest, we are absolutely blown away. Little did we know that Noah's Beach was probably going to end up being one of our favourite beaches in the whole of Queensland. The whitest sand, the bluest oceans and the greenest tropical magical forests you could ever imagine. I mean the sand is literally like powder. It is powder. <laughs> <laughs> but look, it is actually unbelievable. And the fact of the matter is, we are the only ones on the beach. It's crazy. And tomorrow we have some even more exciting things planned. We hope to be heading out onto the reef and hopefully see some turtles. And on today's episode of MasterChef, James will be presenting Alex with a beautifully crafted barista coffee. Elegant. It is time to say goodbye. We're going about five knots on the water, but... <laughs> Any breeze is better than no breeze. Oh my God, it's like an oven in here. And tomorrow we- Ah, I've got a midge everywhere, sand flies. Can you make this quick? Yeah. Maybe this is like lost and we've like woken up on this desert island and we've got to find out how to escape. <laughs> <laughs>